I think this is something I, uh, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> what if you wanted this car for free? That, well, that, that's my question. <laughs> Should you get that car for free? Do you want that car for free without having played the summit? Without having done anything? Now, before I uh, chuck my TV remote back behind my TV, before I actually talk about the whole premise of this, I want to first say I don't think this specific situation, they did anything wrong. I don't think specifically this isn't a call out on Black Panther. This isn't a call out on Ivory Tower. I think this specific situation, it completely makes sense. Now, I will still ask some interesting questions like, should you be given a summit car for not playing the summit? So if you don't know what this is based on, Theo Black Panther the other day released a video about how Ivory Tower gave him the summit car early. Now, the thing is, I didn't even know this was a thing that they could do. I didn't know that this was a, a possibility for them to be able to put a car in uh, someone's account like that, right? I'm trying to think, in the Crew 2, Twitch drops were just crew credits, right? They were just crew credits in the Crew 2. In this game, Twitch drops have always been car. They'll bring back the Plymouth Roadrunner, or they'll bring back the C2 2.0 edition, and they'll make it not a Summit car anymore. They'll make it available to everyone, and they'll place it in your account. And it seems that, like, they, they've developed this technology now to add cars to people's accounts which i mean i just i'm sat here like is this a thing they should have opened the floodgates on so ivory tower gave black panther his car early now there's two ways to look at that though is the thing there's the funny way and there's the oh that makes sense so the way that makes sense is look it, he's it's his car right so one it's his car two he can then promote it. Now, he gets the car early. He gets to show off the car early. He gets to be like, hey guys, look, this is the car. This is what you can do to it. This is what looks what it looks like driving the car. So that way, people can now go onto his video and be like, whoa, that's a, that's a cool car. Whoa, that's, that, that's really sick, actually, Theo. And then I, I, I didn't want to play the Summit before, but now, now that you've shown me what the car actually looks like outside of the Summit, I actually want to go on and play. It's free promo for them. So it absolutely makes sense to give him the car. And then the kind of funny way. <laughs> Unfortunately, Theo, like I've mentioned, is a bit notorious for not getting platinum. He mentioned in my podcast episode with him, he's gotten one platinum in the history of Motorfest so far. And I mean, there was a whole thing in the crew too when he switched to Stadia to get platinum because he couldn't get platinum on the platform he was playing on already. <laughs> now, going from the Black Panther car to the Sidwaj car, as an example, as much as the fact that he wouldn't have gotten platinum plays into it. And that's what we're gonna discuss is should you be given a car if you're not getting platinum? But the thing that the, 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 the thing is, is that when it comes to the, the reasoning that makes more sense, I'm kind of, again, like I mentioned at the top of this video, I understand the decision in this specific situation. In fact, say, hypothetically, me, someone who can get platinum, <laughs> that, see, again, that sounds like I'm shitting on Theo, which I'm not. But um, me, someone who, who can get platinum, right? Say they add a Sidwaj car to the game. They add a Sidwaj Summit car. Maybe it's an RS... RX7 FC, maybe it's an Audi RS6 of mine, maybe, hopefully, please Ivory Tower, it's a Alpine A110. So, they add a Sidwaj car, right? A Sidwaj update. Well, as much as yes, I would get Platinum, as much as I would play that week, I would get Platinum, I would make sure to get Platinum, and... I, I, I would prove that fact. I would show that, look guys, I still got platinum in my own summit. I would want the car early too. I would absolutely want it early, especially now that I know the, 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 te the technology exists to do so. Especially now that I know that, oh, okay, you can get cars early in this game. That's a, that's a thing you can do. I would ask Ivory Tower to be like, hey, I'll promote, I'll promote my car. I'll absolutely promote my car. Give me it early. In fact, give me and some of my boys the car early so that we can do a full video driving around and having fun with like five different of the Sidwatch car before anyone can get it. So I don't think that him not getting platinum ties in too much as an issue 
when it comes to receiving the car. Because, as I mentioned, even if it was me, someone who can get platinum getting a car in the game, I'd want it early as well. Then there's some other issues that come up, though. See, yes, he didn't get platinum. He might do. In fact, if he still does get platinum, his car will remain as rare as any Summit car instead of being as rare as, I guess. I mean, I, I, if he didn't actually f f finish platinum, his car would be less rare than every Summit car in the game. Because... 10,001 people would have it. But my question is, is that a precedent they should have set? That they can give someone a Platinum Summit car early? Or, or, or again, early is one thing, as well as just giving a Platinum Summit car to someone who hasn't gotten Platinum. That's where the big sort of debacle is here. Is there a level of unfairness to it? Again, I'm, I'm kind of just asking, I will play devil's advocate here. But I think no. But maybe that's a level of bias. You got you got to tell me because I'm the, I'm also a content creator here. You know, in my head, in my head, here's what I'm thinking. And this is where my content creator bias comes in. Is that okay? You can do this every tower. So hey, could I get a, a, a you know just a, like the BRZ? No, sorry, the GR86. Could I get the GR86 early? And make a video on it. Like, not a week early, giving it, like, a day or two early. So I can make a video on it. I think that's a... Because they already give us entire updates early to make videos on, right? I get a full update before... Before the update comes out. And I can then make videos on that update as much as I want until a certain time. And then I get to release it. So, giving cars early, again, it would achieve the same thing. I'd be able to get the car early for you guys, to show you guys the car, to have some fun with the car, and invertly and directly, I guess, promote the car. So be like, hey, here's the car, go check it out, it's out tomorrow. So I guess that's where my brain goes, but presumably, maybe you guys would be like, no shit, no, you, you guys shouldn't ever get uh, other cars early. But you know, here's the precedent that's been set. Are they gonna give Shmi his Zenvo early? I don't know. Is this Shmi gonna bother playing the game? Because I don't see it as too much of an issue, but yes, there could be a backlash of being like, God, content creators bloody getting everything early, you know? I, I would understand that. Get where you could be coming from. I just, I, I wouldn't expect that from too many people, I guess. I think that is a thing that someone could be mad at, but I don't think that's something too many people would be mad at. Not more than already are that we get updates early, right? And look, they do surprise drop sometimes, and that only really applies when it's done well. Because Ivory Tower has undeniably been fumbling on marketing for some of these cars recently. I think that uh, no matter what you say, I think that is just a thing. No matter what the reasoning is, the Ferrari that they added a while back, I think it was the F8? It was, yeah, the F8. That thing. The only promotion for it was a single Instagram reel for the Ferrari that they added. The first time they revealed the Volkswagen IDR was just in an infographic. There is such little marketing they are doing for the, the cars that they drop. But that's unlike in the Crew 2 when they did the Alfieri. The Alfieri, Maserati, they put a tease and then they put a countdown and then they did a reveal trailer a day before it dropped. For that kind of stuff, don't give us early access. But for something like this soup, this t t Toyota, this thing was revealed to us and the exact date was revealed to us. <laughs> well, an entire, I want to say, how many? An entire month and a bit before the car actually dropped in the games or something like this. I don't think two days early access could hurt, but... I only ask that because, well, this is the precedent that's been set now. Is that is that cars can be given to players. I mean, if you missed out on a Summit car for something completely out of your control, say the game bugged, the game broke, and you missed a Summit car, could you be allowed to be given that Summit car? That's the thing. That's the, that's the floodgates that open here. And again, I think... Theo, in this situation, being given the car early, makes complete sense. It's it's a collaboration with him. It's his car. It's made for him and it's promotion. Like, at the end of the day, regardless of if he gets platinum, giving him the car early is just him being like, Hey, look, here's the car. Bloody look at it. It's cool, right? 
There you go. So then it's the repercussions of doing such when that such couldn't be done before. That is the thing that comes up is the fact that you couldn't do if you you couldn't give cars. It's like there was no evidence of ever giving cars in the crew two on an account ever. Only in the crew motor vest has there been Twitch drop cars. As far as I yeah I do think so yeah. So what do you think? What do you do? Do you think that Motorfest shouldn't have given Theo his car early? Do you think that uh, they, they were fine to? Do you not care? Do you think that you've been, you know, robbed out of a platinum or anything? I don't know. If and I, I guess technically, technically one extra person gets platinum. Whoever, f if Theo doesn't finish platinum, right? Whoever finishes 10,000 or like what? 10,000, I don't know. Just 10,000 would get the car still, right? Yeah. 10,000, they owe their car to Theo. Whoever finishes 10,000 owes their car to Black Panther. Because, well, to Ivory Tower. Because Black Panther got his car early. So, I guess there's at least one big positive there. You know, definitively, someone gets a car that they weren't previously going to get. They were going to finish 10,000 at first, but instead, 10,000 at first is, is Theo. They instead finish 10,000 and get the car. Because... Uh, that's that is assuming Theo finishes gold, which I, I genuinely don't know. If the guy still finishes platinum, then like none of this matters. It was just promo, right? And that's what I would do. I would want the car early. If it was a Sid Wise car, I'd want it early, and then I'd go, okay, yeah, cheers. Now I'm gonna go do the summit because like I want people playing this damn summit. It's the Sid Wise summit. Go play it right now. In fact, go ask him for a Sid Wise up. No, don't do that. I mean, you do that. I don't know. It's not on me. People come to me and are like, Sid, go. Why don't you? Why don't you go in the crew? Why don't they do an update with you? You gotta tell them that. I mean, you're telling me that. You gotta tell them if you want to see a Sid Wise update. I can't do nothing for a Sid Wise update. You're gonna have to let them know. You know. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this discussion. It truly, is that? It's a discussion. So thank you to popular members. A special thanks to famous members. I didn't say thank you. To star members, Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed, and an insane, insane top of the top. Thank you to Icon members, HK and Extreme Speed again. I'll see you boys in the next one in a bit.